Hi, welcome back to Graphics Life's Revit Architecture Tutorial Channel. So today we are going to discuss Session 3. In Session 2, what we discussed, we discussed related to basic settings. Now we are going to discuss Session 3. In this, topics covered wall. So in wall, types of wall, create new wall type and location line. These are the topics we are covering in Session 3. Before that, what do you mean by wall? It's a basic element right before we're going to start where it is available it's available in command uh, wa or else you can go to the ribbon architecture tab wall panel there you can select a wall tool before going to start a start to draw the uh, wall so what about wall and how many types of walls available here we will discuss so types of wall so like other basic elements in a building model here also wall are basic parameters and wall are instances of predefined system family so as we discussed earlier in the family types so wall are instance families so system predefined families right next which represents the standard varieties of wall functions compositions and thicknesses for the different applications we can use a wall functions and composition and thickness so we'll discuss one by one so what are the wall functions nothing but layers and all other things so in that we have a three types of wall one is basic wall stack wall curtain wall so what do you mean by basic wall name itself indicates this is the uh, very basic tool in that so we have a different types of thicknesses and functions and compositions so basic wall is majorly with the predefined layers some predefined thicknesses is available but there is no predefined materials in generic walls in basic wall only okay so nearly 18 to 20 types of basic walls is available later stack wall is available so stack wall is similar to a basic wall so why because it contains basic wall parameter including foundation and the last one curtain wall. so curtain wall is nothing but a made up of glass and panels so usually we are used for the purpose of uh, interior like partition purpose and one more major application is in elevations front elevations majorly in uh, commercial buildings we are using curtain walls so curtain walls we also we will discuss but in this session majorly we will discuss basic wall only after that in next session so i will continue with stack wall and curtain wall also so basic wall is made up of brick block concrete like this this is the composition of a basic wall here so as we discussed in previous session we finished up to levels and level head creation grid all those things next move just double click to ground level so in this way wall tool just pick a wa or else directly click to wall before going to start wall so here we can discuss or just observe this status bar or else we can call it as a dark bar also so you can set it bottom or else in at top so in basic wall here we have a types so almost nearly we have 18 types of basic walls so some generic materials there is no predefined materials here so and then interior and exterior type will be there these are the predefined thickness with the materials here generic are predefined thickness without a material so by default it selects generic 8 inches so if i am going to edit this so go to the edit type and later we can add the extra layers as a plastering layers and core boundaries and all other things we will discuss one by one first so if i am going to uh, draw the basic wall only directly so here we have a option like height unconnected and specify the height location line shine and these are all the options will be available so height unconnected is available unconnected means you can connect to rcc or parapet or foundation level like that so currently we are in ground level so if i want to connect this up to rcc switch to rcc here so if i draw with the predefined shapes will be available here see here rectangle line polygon arc different shapes will be there so i use line only so with the help of line so we are going to present the wall from base constraint ground level to till rcc this is like this i'm going to draw so it shows temporary dimensions how much see here it shows temporary dimension it's almost 18 16 feet 16 feet 6 inches so this much of wall created so from ground level to rcc you can switch to elevation view here you can observe see here from ground level to rcc it is created so same thing if i prepare with unconnected so if i specify 10 feet so what about difference both are same right height wise if i observe here 
go to the south view so this is connected from ground level to rcc this one is from ground level to 10 feet so what about difference just observe the difference here when we are editing the levels for example if i move this level what happens just observe so connected wall automatically changes the height but this one is unconnected it is specifically specified height 10 feet that's why there is no change in height so when we modify the level automatically if the wall is constrained to base and top levels automatically height will also change but so this wall is connected to ground level only so height is specified 10 so we didn't constrain this wall height to up to level 2 nothing but a rcc level that's why so it's not con connected to level 2 after that we have a location line so in that we have a six types so wall center line core center line finish face exterior finish face interior core face exterior and core face interior so just observe this picture you will get one idea so here it shows a wall layers clearly so these six layers you can clearly observe where it lies or else where it places so after that chain option will be available so before that we will make this basic wall to compound wall or else we can turn this basic wall to compound wall how so just go to the uh, edit type so you can make a duplicate means copy of a basic generic 8 inches wall it's better to duplicate ones so you can rename as anything so just i'm giving one two three as a name then go and select the edit here you can add the layers so you can add exterior and interior boundaries so one as up and another one i'm going to select here down so this is i'm going to add half inches thickness and for this also i'm going to add half inches thickness so eight inches in the structure and half inches as the exterior side and another half inches as the interior side so we can name it as finish one and finish two what about these things again in functions we have a types right finish one finish two structure substrate thermal area layer membrane layer i'll explain briefly one by one structure means this one center of the wall made up of brick and concrete like that. then substrate so substrate is made up of what so to represent wood portion or tiles like that for that purpose we can use substrate and thermal or air layer so this is usually usually used for the purpose of uh, commercial buildings so especially in industries uh, just to avoid the heat transformation from one wall side to another wall side so thermal or air layer acts like a coolant for common purpose architectural purpose so substrate to mention or else to represent the wood or tiles and finish one finish to finish one and finish to typically are used are typically used to uh, represent the exterior interior side membrane layer so it is zero thickness layer we can represent membrane layer for wallpapers and any posters and pictures so finish one typically we are using for exterior side finish two typically we are using for interior side along with these functions we can assign the material also so from the material library so for finish one exterior side so just click here in the corner of the material panel so select any one material so i'm going to select brick material brick common so later in the next sessions we will discuss about materials so how to tile the materials and how to duplicate the materials and how to customize the materials all other things right so first i'm going to apply here brick okay and then for interior i'm going to assign concrete material so where it is here so i'm selecting concrete masonry unit or else concrete precast that's it so for brick exterior side and concrete for interior side just hit ok click ok so now if i prepare you will get the layers how so just go and click here detail level fine so now it shows this is exterior face this is interior face how to know which one is exterior just click here so this face indicates exterior orientation if i click here orientation will flip 
so change wall orientation this face represents exterior so <coughs> when we are drawing the wall so location lines will be there so how to know the location lines so just i will simply show go to the annotate tab here we have a detail line just i'm going to draw one line pick a wall tool so location line so first one by one first wall center line is available here so draw wall see here how it shows it will consider like this this is wall center line option next one core center line core center line is also similar core center means it's a structure center line so both look similar why because so plastering thickness or its core boundary thickness are equal if it is unequal then you will get the difference next one finish face exterior see here this is finish face exterior so this face is finish face exterior so that's why it starts with rls location line consider like this if i consider finish face exterior see here it will create like this and then if i consider core face exterior so see here half inch thickness this is core face exterior and then core face interior like this eight and half plus half see this is core face interior this is core face exterior this is finish face interior and this one finish face exterior so these are the six location line types next delete this so next we have a chain option what is this chain see here while drawing a wall switch to location line wall center line so while drawing a wall just observe here if chain is on continuously wall we can create like this right if chain is off what will happen see here one two so again you have to pick from here and again you have to draw from here there is no continuity see so if chain is enabled it acts like a continuous path if chain is disabled or else yes if you disable the chain option it creates single line only again you have to specify a start point again you have to specify end point that is the difference and then offset so offset means you know in autocad and in the software so with the re reference of existing object you can specify a another one so example 10 feet offset so i'm going to pick this this wall or else you can draw with respect to this option see here so i'm going to draw here but it creates with offset of 10 feet or else you can use one more option that is pick lines just pick here automatically one more wall created with offset of 10 feet if i and 5 feet so if i click left side you'll get left side offset if i click here you'll get a right side offset this is offset tool then what about this join status so join status means continuity while we are drawing allow is right join status in allow so if i draw a wall one second off the offset if i draw a wall see here i'm going to attach with the center automatically it connects that's why join status is allow if it is disallow check here what will happen see it will not consider the join status that why because it's in disallow and then one more option is the radius so if radius option is enabled so click chain allow this and then automatically radius will enable so if i send one feet so it will fill it's the edges just draw like this automatically it fill it's the corner if radius is off then what will happen see you'll get the sharp edges or common edges this is radius with radius you will get like this corner without radius you will get common 
edges so these are all the additional options where we are getting so in the option bar before going to draw wall we can use these things one is height with constraint without constraint location line so when it will helpful lo location line it is helpful when we are tracing a plan then chain then offset then radius and then all. so how, then how to trace a plan or else if i prepare a plan in autocad so then i want to prepare a building so how to import it go to the go to the insert tab select import cat and choose a file so i'm going to select that file and here some options will be there colors layer types import units it will automatically detect so automatic placement in origin to origin place at ground level click open so plan will be placed in a ground level so here it is the plan so pick a wall so select a basic wall what we customized one two three Rena we renamed the right basic wall one two three select it and connect to rcc height so from ground level to rcc just draw wall here so it may center line or else you can choose finish face exterior see from the edges you can draw walls so this is autocad plan i'm going to insert wall to the edge here next i'm going to trace commonly from one end to another end to here so this is not a nine inches wall so that's why i'm going to draw only nine inches wall so after that partition walls we can define Here I'm going to define after that class partitions will be there. So for that we can define curtain wall. So just wall portion I prepared only outer walls that to nine inches walls only. So how it shows go to 3D view here. So default 3D view available here. Just click here, design brick for exterior and concrete for interior. So this is how to place a or it's how to prepare a wall and what are the options available in wall and how to prepare duplicate how to duplicate a wall and how to prepare a compound wall by using edit type and structure edit in that we have a different types of functions wall functions and how to assign a material how to assign a thickness we saw all those things in this session in next session we will discuss uh, wall other options and i will show you how to prepare a one simple architectural model i will show in my next session and we will discuss what are the other options see here in uh, sections preview other options will be there these tools also are very helpful we will discuss in next chapters one by one and don't forget to share subscribe like if you have any doubts please comment i will try to answer all your doubts thank you thank you so much